Mr. Chairperson, the bill before the House contains many sound components and is, is in fact long overdue. South Africans have seen the failings of our financial monitoring systems as nobody picked up the erroneous 14 million rand NSFAS payment to Sibongile Mani. Nobody has queried the large sums of money that have flowed into politicians' accounts during state capture. Nobody asked why large purchases were made in cash by Malusi Gugaba or where Ace Makashule's children found the money to buy cars valued over 2 million rand each. Nobody commented when they saw the money looted from VBS Bank hitting the accounts of well-connected people. Our systems failed. And make no mistake, this has been seen by worldwide organizations like the FATF, who have also used their experience to point out some other glaring problems within our systems, particularly relating to nonprofit organizations, to trusts, and to beneficial ownership generally. So the introduction of a bill was extremely necessary. Treasury had been working on one for some time, but with little urgency until the threat of grey listing began to loom large. Suddenly, the bill was thrown together in haste and dumped on Parliament to deal with in a hurry. And we have processed, and as we have processed the bill, it has become evident that Treasury has, in fact, done a pretty good job of dealing with many of the issues. But like with many rush jobs, there have been some things that have not been properly thought through. The example that has taken the most time to deal with was raised by the public participation process and related to the reporting required by NPOs under the proposed legislation. In an admission of guilt, Treasury produced a B version of the bill in response, greatly reducing the burden that they had introduced. While this goes a long way towards mitigating the problems, it does not get rid of them entirely. And under questioning in committee last week, it again emerged that practical issues around the implementation of the bill have not been adequately thought through. The committee has agreed that unintended consequences will need to be carefully monitored and as part of the report have built in a regular review of the implementation of this act bill. <laughs> we agree that every effort must be made to try and avoid grey listing, but because it was left so late, we are likely to fall short of the mark. This bill is sadly transparent as the difficulty with implementation will set us further back. Passing a bill that falls short will merely extend our grey stay. And on that basis, Chairperson, we cannot agree to passing the bill. No amount of time pressure should force us to pass bad legislation. Thank you, Chair.